Okay, here's Miami police unveiling their Black History Month police cruiser. It's beautiful. Let's look at it. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. <laughs> this is like my something michael scott would do this it can't is. be real this is i, I like I, absolute 100 percent michael scott vibes right now they, they for black the, history month he's oh my they god have the continent of africa outlined <laughs> on there <laughs> what is happening this is if michael scott became mayor <laughs> Oh, the music does it's make a, it better. It is. What, what the, yeah, the, guy, <laughs> the continent of Africa. People need, to, people need to be seeing the video of this. It's, this is incredible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that is so good. That That's was, one more time on where that. Where did you find this? That's the sound that I mean. Oh, oh we gotta get good. that guy walking again. That's oh yeah, the the white Yeah, the white guy. <laughs> the white guy. <laughs> He's like, we did it, guys. We, we solved we racism. Got it. That's it. <laughs> we got yeah. it. This is gonna fix it. Rob solved. No, that's the music that's on the um that's on the the uh the video, the Twitter video. That's the uh, one I it's think. It's probably they... a Twitter video making fun of it, but it's amazing. I love it. Uh, there were a couple great responses I just have to add in for the dumb bleep here. <laughs> this person said, they said, and what if you're not uh, watching, this is a person wearing uh, like a like a KKK outfit. That's very colorful. Only it's uh, like African garb donned KKK outfit. It's like a bunch of African flags. Basically what's going on. Uh, it's pretty Vermont. sweet. Oh, maybe there we go. And then this person said, next up, the Jewish History Month Brightline train. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. It's all fake. All, it's all just gestures. That's all yeah. it is. It's all these fake gestures, just virtue That's signaling. Daisy said in the in Nate's group, which you can go. Nate's group. You can get into Nate's group by going to joingml.com. She posted a picture of Nancy and said it's giving Nancy vibes. It's a, that's exactly it what is. they're doing. It is. Like, it's the, 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 Wearing, the take the knee, yeah. Yeah, which I think is culturally appropriate. It just, but. like, what I what I think will help is, and I, and I realize that it could be a little soon, but I think that you would feel a lot better as a black person getting beat to death outside of that police <laughs> cruiser, to tell you the truth. I think that would... You Don't were, you think that would help if yeah. it were in the video, though? If it's, like, you wouldn't even question their resolve <laughs> if that were in the corner of the video. Rather than a standard cruiser. Yeah, yeah. the standard, like, that mean... The white supremacist the cruiser? The menacing white supremacist cruiser? Yeah. Yeah. But now the police can say, we can't be a racist institution. We have black cruisers. Mm -hmm. No. Well, because silence is violence, Amanda. No, so I, they have to speak loudly. About do this. Well, they, they have support. to blast. It's the sound of the police. Yeah. Honestly, right. I'm upset that this thing doesn't just walk around just shooting hundred dollar bills out the side <laughs> of it all the time. Let's talk about this uh, Disney Plus cartoon, which is oh, that's weird how that flowed together, demanding reparations. <laughs> Don't believe number eight. How about that? That's pretty cool. I wanted to see if this is popular. Costco posted a screenshot. I got a more updated one. Um, ten percent average audience score for Proud Family, the Proud Family, one hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's how you know something is just going to be <laughs> god freaking awful. One hundred percent from Rotten Tomatoes. Do we get to watch this. Is this something we get to watch? Ten percent. Oh, let's great. Let's look at this clip from Proud Family. This is a Disney Plus cartoon. This is a cartoon for children. 
Okay. This country was built on slavery, which means slaves built this country. Tilled this land from sea to sea to sea. First there was rice, tobacco, sugar cane. Then Whitney did his thing and cotton became king. And we were its soldiers. Four million strong. Fighting for America's freedoms, even though we remained America's slaves. slaves. Built this country. The descendants of slaves continue to build this. Slaves, slaves built, built this country. country. And we, the descendants of slaves in America, have earned reparations for their suffering. And continue to earn reparations every moment we spend some in the systemic prejudice, racism, and white, white supremacy, supremacy that America was founded with and still has not atoned for. Slaves, Slaves built, built this country. country. Not only field hands, but carpenters, masons, blacksmiths, musicians, inventors built cities from Jamestown to New Orleans to Banneker, Washington. Washington. 40 acres and a mule. We'll take the 40 acres, keep the mule. We, we made, made your families rich. From the southern plantation heirs to the northern bankers to the New England ship owners, the founding fathers, former presidents, current senators, the Illuminati. The New World Order. Slaves, slaves built this country. We had Tubman, Turner, Frederick D. Then they say Lincoln freed the slaves. But slaves were men. And women. And only we can free ourselves. Emancipation, Emancipation is not freedom. Jim Crow, segregation, redlining, public schools, feeding private prisons, where we become slaves again. As we celebrate Juneteenth for the... Up I can't anymore. Can't finish. I can't anymore after that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is something. This is something. That's um, that's number eight. And again, I will always say this: I think the history of slavery is atrocious. That is a very brave thing for I, you to say, yeah, Charlie. I do, and I and I can't believe now this coming from a company, by the way, whose founder, Walt Disney, actually created racist cartoons <laughs> when it first started. Never. So now, I guess they're atoning for their sins. It's like, how could you be employed by Disney to create this cartoon and do the voiceover work and everything and not realize that the company you're working for was founded by a racist? This is actually, I mean, this is a, <laughs> this is a lot of people who want to get rid of their Tesla, their racist Tesla, so they can buy a Volkswagen. Did they, you know. Did they have to put warnings on, like, the old Mickey Mouse cartoons? Because they've they had to they put warnings take, on a bunch of stuff. They wouldn't take them down. Yeah. But they had to put warnings on them. They've put it on a bunch of old stuff. It's yeah. Like, it's, it's not like, even like... It's like... It's not even that... Okay, they're hypocritical from stuff from 70 years, 60 years ago they made. It's still just a stupid idea, and it shouldn't be uh, something... I mean, I guess if you want your kids to watch that, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, but that is a terrible thing to drill in the kids' heads. And... Um, all the stuff. I mean, I want to know. I want to go outside and go. Uh, I'm like, I get the idea. Slaves built this country. I get it. It was just beat into our heads. All right, <laughs> but I, I don't think it's entirely accurate um, when you look at the economics of the, the North and the South. The South was actually in pretty tough condition, and the more slave, I wouldn't say slave free, still slaves around there. We know that they were in better financial condition. And also, do, what, where did I, like, okay, they built this thing. Where is it? Can I go see it? It's gone. <laughs> it fell apart. Okay? <laughs> it rotted. It's gone. Yeah. So I don't give two shits about it. All right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't. All right, next and thing. it is disgusting that we're, that we're doing this to kids. Aaron Reed says, we told you this would happen. They're going after Obergefell, gay marriage, and gay parents in Oklahoma. You didn't think this would stop at trans people, did you? There's a little picture of a baby foot. Committed some kind of baby foot crime. It's a slippery shoe. Getting foot printed. An Oklahoma judge just transferred. Here's the headline. Uh, we're going to need like a flow chart to go over this one, okay? I'm going to warn you. An Oklahoma judge just transferred a lesbian mom's parental rights to her son's sperm donor. What? I know what you're thinking. This is overturning. What? This is a, this <clears throat> is overturning a Burgefell. Just sure. transferred a lesbian mom's parental rights to her son's sperm donor. No, read that again. I still didn't get it. Well, I might give you a little bit more explanation, than, but we're not going to. Okay, by the way, this place, uh, 19th News. I'm probably 19th Amendment. Betting, your trusted source for contextualizing the news. 
That's what they are. So they can't get fact checks for, for context. Chris Williams is a lesbian. That's Chris with a K. Williams is a lesbian. And that means she won't be seeing her son anytime soon. Because well, she's a lesbian? Be, apparently. <laughs> That is the official ruling. He said, lesbian. I'm sorry, the judge was a woman. On Monday, Oklahoma County District Judge Lynn McGuire ruled that Williams had failed to adopt her son and had forfeited her parenting rights to his sperm donor, the son, which I don't know how inconsiderate these people can be, but I don't know if their son is officially declared being a male uh, his yeah yeah that seems wrong okay don't worry we're gonna clear this all up so williams the lesbian losing the rights to her son advocates say williams From an case, oklahoma female yeah. judge yeah advocates say williams case may test the bounds of equal marriage laws in oklahoma and beyond and beyond according to williams that's the lesbian she and her ex-partner Rebecca Wilson. Now Williams is the is the lesbian mom who's losing the rights to her son. The her, other mom. Her ex-partner, Wilson, planned to have their son and found a sperm donor whose last name is Vaughn on a paternity website together. The two married, Wilson and Williams, girls, both of them. Married together while Wilson was pregnant. Okay. Wilson's not the mom in this story. She's the partner. No, Wilson is actually the birth mother. And the partner to the mom, Williams. Is Williams. Yes. Who has no biological relationship to the kid. Okay. I'm not saying that that's the only thing that matters or anything. Sperm donor is... Uh, the biological father apparently didn't sign one of those things saying that you wouldn't have any uh, rights to the kid. In most states, married couples are presumed parents of children born within those unions. I got questions about that. Williams said she and Wilson raised the child for two years, but the couple split bitterly in 2021 and Wilson moved in with Vaughn bitterly. Remember that. Uh, so Wilson, the birth mother, moved in with Vaughn, the birth father, the sperm donor, and took the child with her. She argued that Williams is not the child's mom. I. <sighs> it sounds like <clears throat> Williams is not the child's mom. I, I don't even think Maury has to tell us. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's her. You know. <laughs> do we only have to do a test? Do we? <laughs> Now, they should still go on Maury, though. Well, they should. That would be a great episode. William says, I don't feel like we should have to adopt our own children. Now, Williams is the person who married a woman who was pregnant and then divorced the woman who had the baby and left to go be with the biological father. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, I don't feel we should have to adopt our own children. Uh, if I was a man... I love how she started it by saying, I don't feel like. Yeah. I can't dispute that now, can I? It is correct that you don't feel like this. Yeah. If I was a man, nobody would come back and, you know, question whether that child was mine or not. Um, You mean like if you were the the man, like with the, with the stuff that went in the thing the and other stuff? created the stuff, you know, and the, and the, and the thing came out? With the stuff, is that <laughs> this, is, this is so dumb? Oh, I thought way, she was the lesbian mom, though. Way, yeah, way down in the article, in very end of it, very end of it. The birth mother has alleged that Williams was abusive towards her, and that she's removing Williams from her son's life for her son's safety. Uh, during the divorce proceedings, Wilson was granted an emergency victim protective order that barred Williams, uh, the victim uh, lesbian mother in this case, barred Williams from contact with her and the child. That order was extended. Williams denies the abuse and says it's irrelevant to the question of parental rights. <laughs> I 
Let's they're, move on. They're coming for it all. This is still number that's, seven. That's the biggest thing. <laughs> no, the biggest thing for, is that, that means they're coming for gay marriage itself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but that's what that explanation they're was. They're overturning it all. Yes. <laughs> and uh, this is coming from a news source that is known for, <laughs> for their unbiased contextualizing yes. reporting. They contextualize things like no other. Oh. Transferred lesbian moms from the rights to her son's sperm. Okay. Um, we're going to go. We're going to stay with the family here for a second. For number seven, real quick, though. That was like real quick. the hardest, dumbest thing we've ever had to go through. <laughs> All right. This is from the New York Post. Death of shot Clinton aide with Epstein ties found tied to a tree ruled suicide despite no gun <laughs> at the scene. That's awesome. The mysterious death of an aide to President Bill Clinton with ties to Jeffrey Epstein has been officially ruled a suicide, despite there being no sign of a weapon near the body. Mark Middleton, 59, who served in the Clinton White House in the 1990s, was found dead on uh, Heifer Ranch Heifer Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas, on May 2nd in 2022. Almost one year after Middleton's death, a police report obtained by the outlet this week revealed that the Little Rock businessman was discovered with a gunshot wound to the chest and an extension cord tying his neck to a tree. <laughs> That's not funny mm. for the guy. No. Okay. But they ruled this a suicide. Could you? Well, I know what happened. This guy was so depressed. Mm -hmm. He shot himself in the chest. And when he didn't die after like 15 minutes, he's like, well, that didn't do it. Let me yeah. get this electrical cord and tie myself to a tree. He went to a completely different location because they couldn't find a gun anywhere right. around there. Um, yeah. Left the gun or he took it and he threw it in a lake or something mm -hmm. like that. And then, yeah, hung himself with an extension cord. Uh, notably, gotcha. Lawson's account, the, the deputy, Lawson, from the Perry County Sheriff's Department, his account includes that while officers located a gun case and three boxes of buckshot in Middleton's BMW SUV, there was no weapon in sight. Though the father of two worked for his family's HVAC business in the years before his death, he previously enjoyed a high-flying lifestyle as special advisor to Clinton and assistant to his chief of staff. Middleton notably signed late, uh, notably signed late pedophile Epstein into the White House seven of the 17 times he visited the residence. He also reported to have flown on Epstein's infamous Lolita Express jet. Hmm. <sighs> what a tragic. Oh, Matt's got a good idea. He tied the gun season. to a bunch of balloons, and they took it down, and then it, the balloon got shot down by a missile. Mm -hmm. Now that, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, there you go. Some raccoons helped him. So that there, Maybe raccoons grabbed the gun and ran off with it. I'm telling you, man, those things... Mm -hmm. Are bandits. I might be the first to say it here. Middleton didn't kill himself. Yeah. Probably very first to say that. How many people have died that have been tied to the Clinton? It's too many. Dude, have you ever did you ever watch House of Cards? It's kind of crazy. Did you watch watch House of Cards? I got through, I think, some of season two, like first and second season. It's good. Yeah. It's definitely written about the Clintons. Like But I hated Or there it's like the basis. It's not about the Clintons, but it's Yeah. It's about the Clintons. It's about the Clintons. Yeah. <laughs> it you is. don't want to say that. No. And I, we're not saying that either, by the way. And by the way, neither one of us are suicidal. Mm -mm. Not any more than usual. How many people close to the Clintons have to die of suicide before something happens? How, you should ask chat GPT. How crazy is this? I mean, how many people has it been now? At least five or six. Yeah. It can't be a coincidence. At this point, you know, what's funny is I knew that we would get to this and I thought about researching this earlier and I forgot to do it. I was like, I bet it's going to get to how many people have died that were close to the Clintons. Here's number one. That was number zero. So now we're the number one. Uh, did you hear there's a war? There's a war going on. Mm, I think so. Yeah. You hear about that stuff? Yeah. Oh, we accidentally skipped ahead. There's a few parts to this. Okay. First off, we'll go from Ed Krasenstein. Ed Krasenstein. Do you want to read this one, Chuck, or you want me to do it? Sure. Okay, go ahead. So, Trump hid in an underground bunker while Americans protested in the streets. President Biden flew into the middle of a war 
in Kiev, Ukraine, on President's Day and walked the streets as air raid si- sirens blared. If you can call that walking. We'll talk <laughs> about the air raid sirens. One man sec. stands for world freedom and peace, while the other stood only for his narcissistic self. <sighs> no, I mean, I think Trump is a narcissist, that's for sure. Sure. So is Biden. Yeah. Two narcissists yeah. going at each other there. So statistically, there's a very high statistical chance that if you get to that point, you you are a narcissist or a psychopath or a, something like that. Yeah. Like it, it's not easy for good people to make it to that point. Most of the time, the good people end up um, suiciding themselves on the way there, like that Clinton aide. You know, <laughs> not saying he was a good person. Okay, let's talk about the air raid thing. When he was there on President's Day, he walks out and there are air raid sirens going off charlie Mm -hmm. and that's just how brave the president is that even as ukraine was sounding its air raid sirens meaning they thought there was an imminent bombing attack from russia missiles missile attack from russia he just walked out there like nothing was going on he didn't care he's got his aviators on who it's cares? Like he was walking on water almost. To be honest, he probably had no clue what was going on. He was walking to a little dot he was supposed to go stand at. That was about it. But here's here's what that sounded. Probably couldn't even hear the sirens. Here's what that sounded like. So brave. It's a brave heart, man. A freaking William Wallace over here. Jeez. Oh, so good. Now, the thing is, uh, CNN accidentally mentioned the fact that, like, oh, right when, uh, we, uh, we've been here. Was, we've been here for a while. Um, I haven't heard air raid sirens. Days, I have not heard any explosions. I have not heard any air sirens until about half an hour ago, right when uh, President Biden was in the center of Kiev, as, as Clarissa was, was just. I don't know if you so, meant to just kind of. Uh, spill the beans. Spill the beans on that whole situation but he he sort of did like oh that's weird there haven't been any air raid sirens until right when he was walking outside so you're saying it was planned it was clearly planned (laughs) if it weren't planned they would have if they weren't planned everyone in the secret service and everyone needs fired like immediately you don't just have the president of the u.s walking around while you think someone's about to bomb you it's not a thing that happens clearly planned they let russia know in advance that he was going. So nothing would get shot down. Oh, and did they, they re- I didn't yes, know that. Yes, they did. So <laughs> it was fake. It's all fake. <laughs> it's fake. It's all fake. <laughs> but it still works. All right, so we're going to keep the fakeness going. Let's see, you read the last one. Wait, I'll do they, this. <clears throat> they, let re- they let Putin know. Yes, they let Russia know through their channels that he was going to be there so there wouldn't be any accidental starts to <laughs> World War Three very brave you can't make this you, stuff up i'm telling you he's brave <laughs> nato tweeted out this is propaganda going hard right now the krasensteins there's two of them the ed and uh brett or something like that god awful at everything just terrible they're twins i'm pretty sure they've got to be getting paid by the by the white house there's like a list of social media influencers that are paid <laughs> And we've talked about like that Brooklyn dad guy, mm-hmm. you know, he's paid to, to do this. <clears throat> so anyway, NATO says Ukraine is hosting one of the great epics of this century. We are Harry Potter and William Wallace, the Navi and Han Solo. We're escaping from Shawshank and blowing up the Death Star. We are fighting with the Harkonnens and challenging Thanos or Thanos. This is so Putin has a big hammer. Is what you're saying. <laughs> this is not a. <laughs> this is not a movie. This is supposed to be an actual war that's like actually violent, you know. Because mm-hmm. wars are. I, okay, Magoo says they have a point. This this is all baloney. Theatrics. Yes, this is as fake as those things, isn't it? Mm. We were talking about this. Was it you and I talking about this earlier or me and someone else? But I think the U.S. and Russia are both cool with this. I think it's good for both of them. They Mm. get to both have their little Afghanistan. They can drum up support on both sides, you know, spend a bunch of money, wash a bunch of money here and there. 
Russia's economy is barely taking a hit from the whole thing. They're going to partner up with China. I think it. I think they are both totally fine with this. Honestly, I think Ukraine is too. Like, hey, <laughs> you're not going to use any nukes, are you? Yeah, we <laughs> won't either. Yeah. We'll just keep this going. We're going to go with more of this. Charlie from Drew Pavlo. Pav. Pav Pavlo? Pavlo? Pa- Pavlo dog? I don't know. Pavlo's dog. Sure. Zelensky and Biden are fighting the same war against racism and imperialism as Malcolm and Martin. <laughs> Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. It's, they look exactly the same, it's too. Basically the same thing. It's, now, anywhere else, this would be like kind of a racist thing to say, yeah. honestly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never mind the fact that like Ukraine is full of Nazis. <laughs> what, yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that this was coming. <laughs> So I brought oh. this graphic here. It's a bunch of screenshots uh, pre-start to the war, February, uh, whenever, when was it last year when this happened? It was 2022, yeah, right? Yeah, February 2022. Listen. So to, prior to that. The whole, all the media knew that Ukraine had a big Nazi problem. A lot of Nazi problems out there. I mean, from all the, the big papers and publications. You see anything that stands out? What's worth? Um, you oh, maybe the Nazi flag. With oh, the okay, Ukraine yeah, flag yeah, and an American flag. <laughs> that um, one stands out. Far right extremists and Ukrainian military bragged about Canadian training. Let's see from BBC. Ukraine underplays role of far right in conflict. Here's FBI neo-Nazi militia trained by U.S. military in Ukraine now training U.S. white supremacists. <clears throat> Great. Yeah, that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, hundreds march in Ukraine, an annual tribute to Nazi collaborator. Uh, violent anti-Semitism is gripping Ukraine, and the government is standing idly by. You, you get the thing, okay? And they're also comparing this to uh, a fight against racism and imperialism. Mm-hmm. The Oh, that's pretty crazy. And then on top of that, we'll throw in one more. This is all Ukraine-Russia propaganda. And we got to get scooting. Mm. I know it's my fault. Okay. This guy deleted this tweet, but you, you can go ahead. All right. Jason J. Smart. Boycott. New York Rangers, Russian goalie, Igor. Igor uh, Are sh- they all named Igor? I'm sorry. I, apologies to everyone out there listening that's named Igor. Of, it's like John in Russia. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Igor and Igor. I gotcha. Yeah. Uh, Shesterkin has a giant Russian army Z on his face mask. I have read the explanation that it is sideways. It's a sideways N, but let's be honest, it's a Z which shows support for the Russian war effort. Disgusting. It's literally a sideways N. The top of his helmet says N-Y-R on the top of his helmet, but mm. it's sideways, so it looks like a Z. This guy's serious about this. I went through his Twitter Z page. For Zelensky. It's Z. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's Russian, but he supports Ukraine. Z for Zelensky. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that uh, that tweet uh, is gone, but thanks to, I believe, Costco for sending over the screenshot of that. It was uh, worth it. 